Hello, my name is FutureMan19, and I am going to be talking about 5D and what it really means. Throughout this video, I will be explaining the differences between 3D, 4D, and 5D, which are short for third, fourth, and fifth density. A density is different from a dimension. A density can be considered like levels in a game, where at this moment we are technically at the third level of the game, where we are playing as a human on this planet. A dimension can be considered an instance of the same game that is being played in perpendicular to our own density. Consider dimensions as lives like in a video game where you keep repeating the same level until you are able to beat that level and move on to the next. This becomes real evident Hello. when Neo meets the architect. Who are you? I am the architect. I created the Matrix. The architect so tells Neo so that he has come many times the before from different timelines you know. and was always met with the same choice. There are two doors. The door to your right leads to the source and the salvation of Zion. The door to your left leads back to the Matrix to her and to the end of your species. As you adequately put, the problem is choice. But this time, Neo is offered a different path where instead of Hope. choosing to simply it survive, is Neo is given the option to save Trinity. This act symbolizes that Neo no longer weakness. bends his will to fate, choosing his own path instead and I following his own again. destiny. Because to beat your density, you must become your own destiny. This act helps him beat the level of 4D, a path that is trodden with love. So our world, what we know as third density, can be likened to the artificial matrix that is shown in the Matrix movie series. It is the construct that represents our human society and it is symbolized by how our society seems to worship a more artificial way of life rather than living as our true selves which is whole and natural it is symbolic how we are being assimilated by everything artificial and unnatural becoming more and more machine-like and how we are becoming more subservient to a much bigger agenda being played by forces that we cannot yet comprehend forces that are playing at a much higher level than us right now so the big question is how how do we escape this matrix, this 3D life? If you remember in the beginning of the first Matrix movie, Neo was found asleep at his computer from an apparent all-night binge on learning more about who Morpheus was. In the movie, Morpheus is How used as a you? symbol for transformation via faith, always pressing Neo to believe in more than what was immediately before him. You're too fast. Do you believe that my being stronger or faster has anything to do with my muscles? in this place. You think that's air you're breathing now? Unfortunately, Neo eventually meets Morpheus and Morpheus explains is. that in order to know what the Matrix is, that he would have to experience it for himself. You have to see it for yourself. So the red pill symbolizes the choice, the choice that we all face here in 3D. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. There are only two options really, become free or remain as a slave, plugged into the system where negative forces feed off your energy. Combined with a form of fusion, the machines had found all the energy they would ever need. But what many don't realize before taking the red pill is that being free is the much harder choice, one that is not for everyone. Why, oh why didn't I take the blue pill? <sighs> and that gets harder for a person the much older they get. We have a rule. We never free a mind once it's reached a certain age. It's dangerous. The mind has trouble letting go. When Neo is first shown what the Matrix is, he freaks out. He doesn't want to believe it. The pill initially tasted sweet, but has made his stomach bitter. Truth will always be a hard pill to swallow. Next, Neo is shown how people can be potential agents of the system. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. Meaning that they will do everything in their Sentient power programs. to make you accept this Matrix they that has us all in and out in. of any software still hardwired to their system. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. These people have effectively given up their free will and that is why the agents of the Matrix can possess them at any time. The Matrix is a system, Neo. 
which is why in our own world there are people out enemy. there that will do when anything inside, to keep this illusion around, alive, see, even giving up their own teachers, rights and freedom lawyers, for a little bit more security of mind. The very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. This could even account for people in 4 who have even it's become true. unplugged but still would give away I their know. free will for a rewarding 3D life. I These people would be considered exist. like the Illuminati kinds of people who are unified to mouth, a degree but are given many rewards to continually control is, this world for these higher see, negative forces that they follow. Delicious. After nine years, you know what I realize? <sighs> Ignorance is bliss. So the Matrix itself is like a computer game that we all play. There are the main characters that are programs designed for a purpose, the Matrix people, what I like to call NPCs, which stands for non-player characters, and the ones who are unplugged, which I like to call the players. So what is 4D? 4D is represented by a unity consciousness. For example, the 4D in the Matrix movie series are the people living in Zion. They resemble the last vestige of a true human experience. Ironically, the machines themselves could be considered a unity consciousness as well, which is why they operate at a higher level than even the 3D Matrix participants. Humans are meant to be unified, like how nature is unified through harmony. But our matrix, this 3D life, gives us the illusion that we are separate from one another and thus is why we have so many problems living with each other. This separation is known as duality, the light and dark, male and female, on and off, everything and nothing. There is nothing in our world that doesn't have an opposite. This is the law of cause and effect, action and reaction. These are not theories but laws of the universe. But it is still curious to reflect that on one end, the 3D matrix already has a sort of pre-unity consciousness built in because everyone is plugged into the same system where we are all playing the same game. But Zion Consciousness is represented by 4D which resembles people who are of one heart and one mind and what it is truly like to be human. And the goal to beat this level of consciousness is to love unconditionally which Neo is able to accomplish at the end of the second installment of the Matrix series, The Matrix Reloaded, which he then graduates into 5D. This is evidenced at the end of The Matrix Reloaded where Neo finds out that he can also Affect the real world outside of the artificial matrix, where he has this newfound ability to be able to shut down the machines using only his mind. So going back to the scene with the architect, the architect explains to Neo that he carries within him what the architect calls the prime code, and that the function of the one is to return to the source with it, restarting the matrix all over again. The function of the one is now to return to the source, allowing a temporary dissemination of the code you carry, reinserting the prime program. This this code is what I will be revealing in my next video in my Secrets of Creation series where I recently found a hidden code inside the Fibonacci sequence. So from here we can accurately see the different densities being played out. There is the matrix that represents third density, Zion which is 4D, and 5D is where Neo becomes greater than both 3D and 4D operating close to what a god would resemble. This path has led him as not only being the one who saves the Matrix, but also the one who saves Zion, and even the machines themselves. Because if you remember, Agent Smith was acting like a virus that would have destroyed the Matrix as well as the machines themselves, thus becoming a savior to not only the humans in the Matrix and Zion, but to the machines as well. If you notice that after Neo is blinded, he can still see. It's not over, Mr. Anderson. It's not over. But everything he sees, he sees as light. What he is seeing is not the artificial matrix anymore, 
but the real matrix that is our world, the real world that we live in. What he is seeing is the ultimate truth, that there is more to life than this life, that the truth is everything is made out of the light, that we are all light, and that to be the one is to be able to see this truth as plainly as you see the daylight. Because I believe that we can all be the one, we can all achieve this status, it is within our own power. But to do that, you must rid yourself of all untruth. Your mind must be completely open to miracles. You must become as a small child who can still see the beauty in all of creation. And you must know that you are the one with all your heart, that you create your own destiny. You'll remember you don't believe in any of this fate crap. You're in control of your own life. Remember? Jesus knew that he was the one and that has completely changed our world forever. He was the first to take the higher path, the one called love. He showed us the way and there are many other examples of ones throughout history. People like Buddha, Enoch, and Muhammad, they all had incredible influence on our world that has lasted for thousands of years. And it was all because they knew in their hearts that they were the sons of a supreme creator and that there is a much higher purpose for all of us if only we can see the truth. God God bless you and namaste. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and share if you like and check out my other videos as well. Thank you. Well now, ain't this a surprise? You played a very dangerous game. Change always is. Just how long do you think this peace is going to last? As long as it can. <laughs> what about the others? What others? The ones that want out. Obviously, they will be freed. I have your word. What do you think I am? Human? <laughs> we were afraid we might not find you. Everything's okay now. Look, look! Just look at that. Beautiful. Did you do that? For now. That's nice. I know he'd love it. Will we ever see him again? I suspect so. Someday. Did you always know? Oh, no. No, I didn't. But I believe.